Hey y'all, what's up? It's me, Lena, and I'm back with the season two finale of Best Friends Never. I didn't even know this was the finale for Best Friends Never, guys. I literally thought this was a regular episode and it was gonna go on hiatus again. This is the finale, and I don't know if they, I don't know if they get a season three. To be honest, I don't know if they get a season three. They don't know if they get the season three. This is freaking shocking. I thought this was just a regular episode until I went and saw after, cause you know Disney, they never promote, they never say, oh, the season finale come on. Maybe I missed it. But I'm just like, bruh, they didn't tell me this last week. They didn't tell me this last week. They didn't tell me we were about to go into the freaking season finale. Why didn't nobody mention this to me? Best Friends Forever season 2 finale. I'm so lost. But it was the finale. And guys, this finale was so heartfelt. It's so opening. And I'm just like, we left kind of on a kind of on a cliffhanger not really on a cliffhanger which i'm so glad but kind of on a cliffhanger but i really hope that like season three is coming because now i gotta know like everybody can time travel now like the beak but and they never tried that before which i wish I, they probably should have before but lauren taylor is actually about to be cinderella i think on like a play and i think that's really cool too you know that's like popping for her so everybody's really about to go they step uh, hopefully they don't go they step raise you know but they are probably going to go they step raise me on their careers you know what i'm saying that's it so i don't know if they're gonna get renewed for season three hopefully you do hopefully you do but yeah, so basically it started off with Barry was like, well, first, first let me first let me say this before we get into this little review recap because hopefully it's not long. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's gonna be over here. I think it's gonna be oh no, it's gonna be over here. It's gonna be over here. That's the subscribe button down there. And then don't forget to turn on the little bell to catch the post notifications so you guys know when we post. And don't forget to like this video and share this video and comment on this video. And do not forget to go and follow me on all my social medias, guys. Like what? Go follow me on my social medias, okay? But let's start off with this review recap. So, basically, Barry was like, look, those love quizzes never work. They absurd. And then Shelby was like, Shh, no one cares. So, she got matched up with Chris Pat. And Sid got matched up with Bean and Cheese Burrito. Which, I love Bean and Cheese Burritos. I love burritos in general. But I best, uh, especially love Bean and Cheese ones. Okay? So, I can just stand there. I can understand it. So, Nato, he got all dressed up, you know, Daisy's like, oh, you must be lost, this is a local team hangout, not an old person hangout, but she didn't know that it was actually Nato. So, Nato, he dressed up in disguise, because it is homecoming, and he don't want to say no to none of the girls, Say well, he don't want to say yes to one of the girls, and say no to all of the other girls. So, basically, he gonna dress up all, all week. So, I think Daisy's hair is really cute, too. Um, she was like, look, um, well, I need to be asked by a suitor if I want to go to homecoming. So Shelby was like, no, you don't. You can go, you know, you don't have to wait for no boy. You can go and do this by yourself. So, Barry was like, well, maybe, you know, be quiet. Maybe Steve might want a guy to ask her because he wanted to ask her. But, you know, they was like, no talking to Shelby. And Steve was like, well, maybe we can all go together. It's a girl's night. So then she was like, well, I wish I had my gown, you know, back when I was in prison in my tower. That's the gown that I wore. It was like a funny story, but not like, ha ha funny. More like, stop taking me into this prison funny. But yeah, so then she was like, I gotta go to my beef routine. I gotta get beef fat, pregnant horse urine, and a tinted moisturizer. I don't know where she's gonna get those items. I know she didn't get the tinted moisturizer from, but I do not know where she's gonna get everything else from. So yeah, Barry was kind of mad. So then Nana was like, well, it's not because Barry got a crush on Daisy and wanted to ask her out. So then Barry was like, bruh, what's wrong with you? So then Nate was like, <gasps> so Shelby was like all excited and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So she's like, well, you and Daisy? Then Barry was like, huh? You know, I don't really like her, you know. Sometimes when we're in the same room, my heart increases and I want to smell her hair and I can hear music that no one else can hear. So she's like, you don't like her. You love her. You love her. So, um, still was like, we shouldn't get involved into a very romance. That's gross. And Neil was like, well, this is our first inter-friend relationship in our little squad. So Shelby was like, look, you gotta ask her. And he's like, well... You can't just ask her. You gotta, you know, do this and that. You know what I'm saying? You so lucky to have us, Barry. We gonna hook you up. She's a princess. I like show his outfit. She's a princess. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make a, make a big grand gesture. So he wanted them to go and get her gown out of the thing. But then she was like, well, well he didn't tell him that. He was gonna, he wanted them to go get the gown, but he didn't tell him that. They was like, well, you gotta get whatever you wanna get for her, for her. You know, you gotta get it from yourself. It gotta come from you. So he's like, okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go and do that. So... Then he was like, "Okay, you know, um, that's fine." So the still was like, "I was terrified he was gonna fall for one of us. That was who it was a close call." And everybody was like, "Ew." So yeah, but we see later on what happened. What happened? We see, we see, we see. So they Barry, he was opening the timer to get a dress. So he was like, "Look, I got the power of love, nothing but dopamine, serotonin, and 
and something else but yeah so he was like and i got a big old battery if that don't work i got a big old battery so the stuff was blowing out so the nod was like oh no the hormonal combination is too much it's not working so the nod was like i know it's the battery but i believe in love okay so yes he was like, this was a joke, you know, seeing this grand gesture was never going to work, so let's just go home. So he couldn't lift it up to go the other way up the stairs, so then he just went the other way. But they thought they didn't open the rift, but actually they did, because Sebastian came you know, walking through, like, what's good? I'm here. What's the heck? I don't know. Daisy, she needed tickets to the homecoming dance, because I guess you gotta buy tickets for the dances, which, that's weird, but okay. But um, Shelby, she was gonna buy it for Sid and Daisy, because Sid and Daisy ain't got no money, because Daisy ain't got no job, neither does Sid. But, um, yeah, so Shelby was like, well, if you just got to go with someone else, maybe you want to go, go with a prickly know-it-all who spends his time indoors. So then Sid was like, I can't believe you're talking to Barry. He totally owes us. So Sebastian was in there. He found some clothes in the lost and found, and he was like, I love this place. Everybody just keep laughing at everything I say. They love me. Oh, my God. So he ended up hiding. So he was like, okay, um, he's coming for Daisy. So then Nardo, he was in another, he was in another disguise. He was supposed to be a teacher. He's like, yeah, um, I've taught some kids and show you not many and show you not many class just a few minutes ago. So Daisy didn't know it was not on. He was like, yeah, I was pretty convincing too. I spent ten minutes telling myself in the mirror that I didn't do my homework. I'm like, okay. But um, they told Barry and Otto what happened. So Sebastian, Sebastian broke like the locker door. So he was like, oh, what the heck? Maybe the rift opened again. And Barry was like, oh, no, it didn't open at all. So Nardo was like, maybe it did randomly open after we tried to open it. So then he came clean, he was like, and then she, you know, Daisy was like, that's the sweetest thing ever, so did. So she held his hand, and she was like, I'd love to go sit down with you. So she was like, yay, we did it. So still was like, this is a big moment, you know, but um, we gotta go get this time travel medieval butt face out of here. So Nardo, he was like, well, I got a parent teacher conference, so I gotta go. Meanwhile, they're gonna run the old wall of friends. So they did walk shoulder to shoulder. So then, remember how last week when I said that I was gonna make a shift name for them? Ugh. This is exactly what they down here. So Shelby was like, what do y'all want, Basie or Dairy? Because, you know, what kind of shit Because I'm totally shipping you guys. So he was like, what? So he was like, well, I'm just going to hashtag both and see what trends. I like Shelby. She's a very bright light, and I like her. I like her. So Barry, he was, you know, with Daisy. He was like, you know, make a wish, you know, because mine's already came true. So then, you know, still was like, break it up. We got to do this and that. So Nardo came in. He really didn't need a disguise after all because Sebastian took all the girls. So he was like, poor guy. But they thought that Barry can reopen the time rift. And then, it's like, okay, so then Nardo ended up inviting Sebastian to the homecoming dance. I'm like, why would you invite Sebastian to the homecoming dance? What's your problem? But he did, because he, he had a really good plan, but then the plan wasn't kind of good, because then Barry was like, um, yeah, what happened if that don't work? So it was a good plan, but it kind of wasn't a good plan. But anyway, um, they was going to have the Fox Shock Jigglebug or Charleston him into the rift. That's what Shelby said because he's only, he don't recognize Shelby. Shelby. So um, she would rather dance with the body bag covered in cat pee, but he won't recognize us, so she'll just sandwich with him. So then Nardo, he was like, well, nobody has really seen me in five days because I've been in disguise, so I probably should show myself to everybody in the world. So Dave's like, look, I'm sorry, we have to go to dance together. So then he went in, Barry went in the closet, he was like, it's okay. Then he screamed. And then he's like, okay, I'm ready. So, Shelby, she looked so cute in the outfit. Barry came there. He had got Daisy a corsage, but, you know, since they're not going together, he was like, look, you can just have it. Then he was like, you know, it comes in pairs like she was a soulmate, which I'm never going to have one. So, yeah. So, then Sid, she came all out. You know, Sid got a lot of hair, so they showed her how to wash it, so it's going to take her a while. So, then Nardo came in. He looked so big. He looked so Nardo looked really good. I like that outfit. So, then he's like, look, I got cufflinks on. My mom said it, looks, it makes me look so sophisticated sophisticated so then Barry and Shelby was like I don't think your mom is using that word right so then he was like yeah she's not really sophisticated but I love her anyway I'm like oh get it she 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 said it made him look so sophisticated because she thought sophisticated was like sophisticated but no anyway so then they left Barry and Shelby left and then Nardo stayed to stay with Sid so then Sid came down so he was like oh my god you're so beautiful so he tried catching feelings she was like you're so beautiful as a she kept hitting him like shush be quiet so then they left and then Shelby was like well you should probably make a shower size version of this battery Barry when it was taking the battery into the thing so he's like I'm wait I was gonna go with a princess to this dance but now I'm here with this battery and with my sweaty friend, when I love a human being more than my invention, I don't like being here. So the show was like, well, I'm sorry, I sweat. I'm not like Nardo. So 
um, sitting on her, they came in holding hands. She was like, oh my god, your hands are so soft. He was like, yeah, your hands are so sticky. And she's like, yeah, I had a waffle while getting ready. But they had to get back to life to know that it's not time to catch feeling. It is time to save Daisy. So, she was talking to Mr. Bash. He was like, yeah, all girls are so weak. And he's like, but you have a small brain. So, your small brain won't even realize that I just offended you. So, then she was like, hmm, your plain sexism isn't off-putting at all. So, she had to just put up with his stupidness. She just had to put up with it. So, then they started dancing. So, she tried to get him to, like, the laser time rip spot. But they started doing the whole routine. Barry had to shuffle over and be like, girl, move. So, yeah, Nardo, he was like, we should dance for the mission. And they was about to give like dance. But then a slow song came on. So, they had a slow dance. It was too much cuteness. I guess they ship name would be Caldo or Ned or Sid, Sido or Nade. So, Sid was like, look, we probably should stop dancing, but they wasn't going to continue dancing. So, Sebastian was like, well, it's been great for you. And then he recognized Sid, and he was like, look, Shelby, you're going to die. And then he was hoping that when he said or else, it implied that she was going to die, Shelby. But, you know, Shelby was like, what? But, yeah. So, he was like, I don't love Daisy. I'm going to take everything from her. She can sit on the side as my queen or sit in the ca and sit in the dungeon as, as a queen. Either way, she gets a share. So, then Nardo was like, oh, my God, we just lost him over. So, Shelby was like, oh, my God, so much romance. What the heck? So, he was like, look, basically, take us back to 1522 and to our cheap potato ceremony. But I got a sweet tooth, so it's going to be a nice dessert tray. But, yeah. Daisy came there, and Barry was like, it's too dangerous. So, she, I love her dress. It was so cute. She was like, I tried to afford Shelby dresses, and this was the only one that fit. So, she's like, I love the corsage, and she's like, why don't I go help my friends, you gotta go open the timer. So, he opened it up so early, so then Daisy was by the hole, so Barry was like, get your own homecoming day. So, he's like, you wanna agree to a battle of wits, would you? So, then he's like, no, I'm not gonna agree to a battle of wits, Barry. That's what Sebastian was like. He was like, okay. Why does Sebastian look so old? I guess I shouldn't be questioning why does Sebastian look so old when Daisy's like 500 years old, but Daisy's like 15. Is Sebastian to be 15? Because he looked really old. But anyway, yeah. So, um, Shelby ended up jumping off Sebastian and saving Daisy. She fell into the rift with Sebastian, so Barry was like, Daisy, are you okay? And then they, they can't reopen it because the laser is burned. I'm like, oh my god, why did Shelby have to do that? Why couldn't Daisy just break away? Like, what the heck? But yeah, they Shelby, signed, Shelby and Sebastian landed in the dungeon. He was like, it was her fault. He was like, well, she don't have a princess to marry. He's going to lock her in there for the rest of her life. And I'm just like, wow, she's 500 years in the past without sin. It's so sad. But everybody was freaking out. And I was like, everybody's seeing this. You know what I'm saying? What are we going to do with all the kids and the things? So Barry was going to explain everything. But then the DJ started playing music because he bored everybody. So, yeah, I would just be like, what's going on? Let me know. You know? But anyway, yeah, Shelby was banging on the door. And Sebastian came in like, oh, didn't anybody tell you you talk too much? And she was like, no, because it's rude to say it's in my face. Mm. So he was going to pretend that she was Daisy and marry her. And that was basically her idea, but he just took it. So, um, yeah, nobody's seen Daisy for two whole years. And he's rich and handsome, and he could lie, so who's going to really care? So, yeah, um, Barry was like, look, we got to find a way to fix the laser. And he was like, nope, it's probably just a me thing. So Sid was really upset. She's like, I can't go in there in the house. So then Daisy's like, sure you can. You live in there. So then he was, she's like, no, I need a disguise. You know, you got to go inside. So then she dressed up as Shelby. And then Daisy was going to pretend to be... Sid, but then Daisy was like, Sid, I should dress up as Shelby, you know? Okay. So, yeah, so then Brent and Chet, they was talking about Garfield, and Daisy was like, I love you, Sid, craft, craft, chase, geese, craft, craft. So then Sid was like, oh my god, you're doing such a good impression. So then Brent and Chet was like, did you notice that um, Sid was acting strange, and Daisy looked a lot, Shelby looked a lot like Daisy in the Shelby wig? And it was like, no, I didn't notice that. But since we didn't notice it, let's go be detectives and go find out. So they went to go find out, and it was like French coats or French toast. Either way, I think French toast and French toast is best together. French, I love French toast and French coat. Like, what? So then um, Shelby was like, look, I'm armed. Don't come in here. So it was the hooded person, which we thought was Janet Smythe, but it was not Janet Smythe. It's this lady. She survived the plague, two wars, and whatever was coming out of the woods, killing the elders. She was not going to fire her with no candlestick. So she's going to fit her put on white dress. She was actually Daisy's freaking nanny. And she locked her in there to save her from, from Sebastian. But yeah, Shelby was like, well, um, we Sid, she's safe with Sid. Not Barry and Arnold, because they knocked themselves out of each other. They knocked each other out in the pillow fight. But yeah, um, that's not going to be good. Because then, the Brent and Chet, they was downstairs. And they was like, I like Sid's hair. You know, no, I said I like Sid's hair. I'm sorry. Brent and Chet was downstairs, though. And then they needed another way to find out, you know, what was going on. So Sid was coming up with a plan. And then she tried to come up with another plan, but it didn't work. And you know, Daisy was like, what would she say? What would Shelby say? It's like, okay. So they had to repel from the window on these 
these the, the the things like the things we jump on the bungee cords i'm like what is y'all doing but yeah so no i don't he didn't know shabashi's last name but he looked for this guy in the history and they saw that shelby back in the day got married they had the show said so when brett had a french coat on and chad had a french toast i get them all mixed up so i don't know which one is which one was soon brett had a french coat on and chad had french toast so they had to be um you know very quiet because it's really late you know they gotta look around so then barry was like oh my god what the heck he was looking in the window so then they started screaming because they freaking repelled out of the window and they showed said how shelby married shabazz and she just had to scream so everybody was screaming shabazz was a cruel leader and shelby all she did was talk about trying to chop what they said so it kind of already happened this is the thing it kind of already happened but it didn't happen does that make sense it kind of already happened but it didn't happen which is kind of crazy, but it happened, but it did. Yeah. So Chet and Brett, they was looking for Sid and Daisy, and he was like, it's costing Dad a fortune to leave these windows open. So they found the window to follow the rope trail, and they was like, oh, we probably should just use the rope. But they said, one window that's open, one window, one that you jump out of, another door opens. So they went to Barry's garage, and it's like, it's costing him a fortune keeping this door open. He can't afford the heat. So, yeah. Meanwhile, Shelby was getting all of her food, and she was used chipping through the wall with her spoon. So she's like, haha, I'm going to climb through here. So then the guard, Tim, he ended up just bringing her back in. She's like, haha, I'm just going to do it again, sucker. But, you know, they had another night outside waiting to kill her if she tried to jump out again. So, yeah. Um, Barry was like, I should have never tried to open the timer. And then he's like, no, it's my fault. He's like, no, it's my fault. And she's like, no, it's my fault. And he just, then Seal was like, okay, it's Barry's fault. But Barry can fix this, so let's do it. So then Seal was so upset. She was talking about, she kept talking about Shelby, kept talking about Shelby. It started affecting the energy and almost opening the time rift. But it's so freaking crazy. So it almost did that. But meanwhile, Shelby was in her dress. She was like, I hope Sif had figured out a way to get me back. It was so remarkable because every time she talked, every time Sif talked about Shelby, yeah, the pair of protons and the quantum whatever was it working. So then Donald was like, no, I'm talking about a bestie hug that's lasting a zillion years. That's why it's opening. They're going to amplify the connection and they're going to open it. She's like, I'm going to tell you guys the story about how the time we snuck an entire Thanksgiving dinner in the movies, but we got caught because a bag of gravy exploded in my bra. So Sid had to tell that story. Meanwhile, Brent Chad to find out Sid and Shelby. He's like, what? Did Sid and Shelby could time travel? What does this even mean? That thing was just blowing every single thing off. So they said, okay, whatever. It's like, I, I want a club soda, but all, you know, all Barry got these beakers full of time travel hair gel. Like, what? So he ended up calling Nando. He's like, um, okay, where are you, Nando? So then Nando was like, we all at the school. And then he was like, oh, Chet checked in with Nando. No way you calls it anymore. This is so nice. So, yeah. That's not him. That's not good. So meanwhile, they was in there. Sid kept talking and Sid started crying and she's like, I miss her so much and they miss her so much. So this is what happened. Shelby was in her little in her room. So then Spash was like, Who wanna get married? She's like, I don't he's like, Well, why are you wearing a wedding dress? It was a joke, but it wasn't a good joke. But yeah, Sid jumped in there and then Shelby stomp kicked Sebastian and then Sid like, hey, double back, she flipped them and I'm like, Did they just become superheroes? Like does they powers, tired that powers, give them super strength, like what? But yeah, so Sebastian, he came through the time with the game, even though they was in the school, he came back through again. I'm like, why isn't nobody closing this up quickly? Like, what the heck? But there is no wedding. It's going to be a funeral today, he said. They don't have no swords. But it's like, what the heck? Sebastian's like, you can't attack us. And Shelby's like, oh my god, we're probably going to die, but if you're not on our thing, I totally support it. So Sid was like, look, it's too early, Sid, with Shelby, to be doing labels, okay? It's too early, okay? So, they just like, look, stop. I won't let you hurt them. If you let them live, I'll marry you. So Barry's like, no, you can't. And she's like, no, I gotta go. So I'm like, she's just gonna let him snatch her up like that real quick. It snatched her up, put in the time rhythm. They were so sad. Nardo hugged. They hugged, uh, they hugged each other. And then they all glued up. They all glowed. And tachyons was everything. It's like, Psh. they time traveled. So Brent and Chet came in like, we caught you. It's like, what? They're not even there. The lamest mystery ever. They thought that there was time travel. So then Brent was like, Chet, why'd you think that? Was it because of the yearbook or the journal or a serum? He's like, no, just a hunch. They time capital this. But anyway, yeah. So now I was like, guys, don't freak out. I don't think we need to school no more. So Barry was like, oh my god, I time travel. It's miraculous. It's transcendent. Does anybody smell burning hair? And he was like, yes. It always, it was like, it always smells like burning hair. No, it's smells burning hair. Right so they had to come stop the wedding. So the old lady was like, oh my god, you, you think you have a chance with Princess Daisy Barry? Who is this guy? Come on.
Come on, so Sam was like, look, nobody else gets it, but okay? So they went in there to the wedding, and he was like, look, I'm going to turn, I'm going to be king. You got to turn, you can say your vows, but keep it brief. So they were like, why aren't they saying that? Why are they saying I object? But she was like, Sebastian, you are guilty of treason. These are, he was like, these are some strange vows. I probably, it's a bad idea to let you write your own. She's like, no, I don't need no king to be queen. Yes, they were so excited. She was like, I don't listen to you. This is her kingdom. You're not going to take it away from her. This is, it's a place for him in the kingdom, but he going to be in the dungeon. He going to be locked up. He's like, no, no. So he was like, sit, chill, be, see y'all, y'all taught her things. And they're like, yeah, be tired, be a boss, a lady boss. Yes, she is queen. She is queen now. So Sheriff was like, look, first I'm apologize for wearing my tea away. It's super inappropriate. But Nardo started crying. He's like, I'm really proud of Daisy. 500 years apart. They never stopped fighting. Daisy felt so strong. She was like, y'all changed my life. I will never forget. So Bear was like, I'm glad you didn't marry that handsome, strong guy. And she's like, look, I don't like him. I have a thing for handsome, smart guys. And then they kissed. They're like... And then she was like, oh my god, this is how I imagined it happening. So Sid was like, you don't, you know you're not kissing him, right? And she's like, then why is my heart exploding? And then Shelby, Sid was like, look, this is why you're my favorite weird person. Because your heart is exploding, ain't not even kissing nobody. But she was like, you must come visit and bring a whole bunch of snack cakes. Because everything here has mouse in it and you don't want to eat that, okay? But yeah, so they all hug. And Barry was like, she was, Sid was like, don't be weird, Barry. Hug Shelby. So they went and hugged and they all like time traveled back. And so Shelby was like, we that inspiring? And still was like, I kind of did already know, but it's nice to hear someone else say it. So Bear's like, well, I got to figure out how we try and shop. And it was like, okay, we're well, not going to figure it out. But they want to go see Gladiators, Cowboys, and Nice. So Barry was like, I got to check in with my girlfriend. He's like, I'm trying to make sure. Y'all know. I got a girlfriend. So then Nardo's like, well, we don't want to believe you anyway, Barry. So it's okay. So um, the power is bigger than them. You know, how did they even time travel back with Barry and Nardo? That's the question. They don't need to take power responsibly though because they want to have some fun because you know they already just did something really good so they have some fun. So Nada wants to see dinosaurs. So they're like, okay, okay, we'll go see the dinosaurs. So Shelby wanted to, you know, there's like going to change Shelby. So then he's like, um, no, it took her an hour to get in and it, she don't know how to take her to get out and Barry didn't get to go where he wants to go. But they went and jumped. So then Brett and Chet, Brett, Chet and Brett was there. So then Chet, Brett was like, Chet, did you see that? And he's like, what? They all hug each other and leave nothing but tacky ass behind? No. Then that was it. It's like, are they disappearing? Where are they going? Can they all time travel now? Is it because they bond is so much stronger now because of Daisy? Did that make it able for Barry Nardo to time travel? Or did Barry Nardo never really tie the time travel with Sid and Shelby? Because they could have time traveled this whole time, but they never tried before. So I'm just like, what the heck? It's season two finale. Brett and Chet know, but they don't know. I'm like, when is Brett and Chet going to find out? Come on, guys. Where is their parents? Where why does Barry's why is Barry's garage in behind Shelby's house? Where does Nardo live? Who is Barry's sister that Nardo kissed? Where are their parents? Where is Sid's parents? Why are they still in Persia? What the heck is going on? But guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Thanks to you for watching all my reviews for Best Was Never. This is the season two finale. I did not know, but this is the season two finale, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you to the creators and the executive producers and the the the, the, the cast members and everybody who retweeted me. This is so awesome. I want to be in season three. Like literally, I want to be in season three. But hopefully, it is season three. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out my review for. Bizarre bark and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Season two finale. It's over. This episode was literally so amazing, guys. I cannot even. It's so much stuff going on. It's so much stuff going on.